Russian cities Rostov and Moscow report drone interceptions. Russian authorities reported the interception of drones over the cities of Rostov, Don, and Moscow on Thursday. These incidents underscore the escalating tension in the region, with drone attacks becoming increasingly frequent in recent times. In Rostov, on Don, a southern Russian city, two drones were reported to have fallen. One fell in the heart of the city, resulting in one injury and damage to several vehicles. Another drone was reported to have fallen on the city's western periphery. The incidents were confirmed by Rostov Governor Vasily Goldovev in a telegram post. Meanwhile, in the nation's capital, Moscow, another drone attack was intercepted. Moscow's mayor, Sergei Sobyanin, took the telegram to inform the public of the incident. He stated that the drone attack was thwarted by air defense forces in the Romensky Urban District. Fortunately, the interception resulted in no casualties or damages, with emergency services promptly arriving at the scene. Now, the Ukrainian government has not commented on these incidents. However, it's worth noting that reports of Ukrainian drones attacking Russian territories have become more frequent in recent weeks. Analysts believe that this is part of Kiev's strategy to erode the Russian public support for the ongoing conflict. In summary, the reported drone interceptions over Russian cities signify the growing use of drone technology in the conflict and indicate a potential shift in tactics as the situation continues to evolve. Key developments in the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Recent events in Ukraine underscore the country's determination to reclaim its territory and its grateful reception of international support. Here's a comprehensive overview of the significant happenings. In a grim incident, a Russian missile struck the town of Kosyanteka, causing the death of 17 individuals, including a child. This strike, targeting a market near a shopping hub, left 32 others injured, positioned close to Bakhmut's front lines. Kostiantinovka's location renders it susceptible to such attacks. Us backing for Ukraine, us Secretary of State Antony Blinken during his third visit to Kiev announced a significant aid package of $1 billion for Ukraine. His meetings with President Volodymyr Zelensky and Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuliba highlighted the importance of continued collaboration. Zelensky emphasizing the significance of such visits and financial backing conveyed its crucial role in Ukraine's current scenario. Just military assistance. Ukraine's defense arsenal will see the inclusion of depleted Iranian munitions, a first time addition, courtesy of the U.S. These munitions, a byproduct from fuel production for nuclear power plants, will complement the U.S. made Abrams tanks slated to reach Ukraine soon. Ukraine's counteroffensive. The intensity of Russia's defensive barriers, especially in the southern front, has slowed Ukraine's counteroffensive. However, optimism persists among Ukrainian officials that subsequent defense lines might be less formidable than the initial mine laden fortifications. Rising drone activities. Recent interceptions of drones over Moscow and Rostov on Don highlight the escalating drone warfare. These frequent drone attacks on Russian territory seem to be a strategy by Kyiv to diminish domestic Russian support for the ongoing war. What is role in the conflict? Western officials have recently visited the UAT to address potential sanctions. Concerns revolve around the export of goods, primarily computer chips and other electronics, which could aid Russia's war endeavors against Ukraine. Change at the Defense Ministry. The defense sector saw a leadership transition with Rustam Umarov replacing Alexei Reznikov as the defense minister. Umarov's pledge centers on reclaiming every part of Ukrainian territory and ensuring the return of all captives. These events paint a picture of a determined Ukraine bolstered by international support, persevering in its efforts to reclaim its territory, even as the conflict continues to take a toll on its citizens. Just watches whirly potential alliance between Putin and Kim. The potential convergence of interests between Russian President Vladimir Putin and North Korean leader Kim Jong 
on his triggering alarm bells in the United States. Here's a detailed examination of the implications. Intersecting interests, at first glance, Putin and Kim's anticipated meeting suggests a mutual beneficial relationship. Both leaders, while distinctive in their ambitions, seem to find overlapping interests that might be addressed collaboratively. Implications for Ukraine. Russia's prolonged conflict in Ukraine could stand to benefit from North Korean support. Moscow might seek Pyongyang's expertise in ammunition, artillery supplies, drone, and missile technology, especially as the conflict enters another intense winter. Nuclear ambitions and energy needs. North Korea's pursuit of nuclear advancement might find a willing partner in Russia. Being a seasoned nuclear power, Russia has the technical know-how that could be invaluable to North Korea. Moreover, with Russia being a prominent oil supplier, it could potentially fulfill North Korea's energy demands, economic sanctions. The economic aspect cannot be overlooked. Both nations are currently under stringent Western sanctions, limiting their access to global markets. A partnership could be a way to circumvent some of these restrictions and alleviate economic pressures. Press response. Washington's reaction to the speculated meeting has been multifaceted. There's evident derision towards Putin, caution directed at North Korea, and a palpable effort to discern the potential implications of such an alliance. China's role. Beyond the immediate concerns of a Russia-North Korea partnership lies the larger Pacific geopolitical scenario where China is a dominant force. Any alliance in this region would invariably alter the dynamics, making the situation more intricate for the U.S. In sum, a meeting between Putin and Kim, if it materializes, would not just be a mere gathering of two leaders. It could signify a strategic alliance with ramifications that could stretch far beyond their respective borders, reshaping global geopolitics.